Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to get Yandere Simulator or basically any EXE Windows game on uh, Steam Deck. So I'm going to be demonstrating with Yandere Sim. So here's what I'm going to do. First you want to turn on the Steam Deck and wait for it to load. So you go to Steam and then you go to um, Power and then you want to switch to the desktop. You can also do this by holding the power button for a few seconds. So once you're in the desktop, we'll get started. Now first thing we're gonna do is install um, two optional applications, but this may help the game run better or add some cool features. So let's go to um, Discover Store. Now we're gonna, um, let me press Steam X, bring up the keyboard. Hold on, let me do this with, with both hands, one second. Let's see here. Oh, we can just probably click it, let's see. So we're gonna go to, um, search. And, uh, uh, we're gonna search. Not in accessibility, but let's see. Steam, X, and, okay, so we're gonna search, uh, First one we're gonna search is pro. -ton. Now here's the thing: you may have Proton if you have Steam Game. You can use that too. This one is actually faster, and, or has more compatibility. Let's see here. Well, first, yeah, of course, we're gonna need to go to home first. That way we see everything. Are we in home? Let's see. Now we just search Proton up. So we'll do that. Now you may notice I made my um, Steam Deck themes like Windows Vista. It was like I had to go for a lot of settings. So overall, it looks cool, but um, not no as expected. So I already have this installed. So we're that's optional though if you want to get better compatibility. So now we're gonna go um, to the second app. Let's see. So I already have it installed, so you just gotta install it. But it's optional. Both of these are gonna be optional. So the next thing we want is um Steam. Wait, go to home again. Steam X. Next thing we want is called um boiler. Like that. B-O-I-L-R. It's this one. So we have it too. So here's what we're gonna do. First, um, if you installed Proton up, you can do this. Otherwise, just skip this step. We're gonna go to um, Start and um, Games and look for Proton up. So I'm gonna do that real quick. This one right here, Proton up QT is what we need. So we wait for this to load, and then here's what you're gonna want to do um, when it loads up. We're just waiting for it. I don't know why my Steam Deck takes this long to load flat pack apps, but it does. So we're going here. Let's wait. Like it loads everything this slow, like boom. But oh well. So once Proton Up is up and running like this, yep, the perfect timing. Once it's up, we um gonna click add version. GE Proton and just select whatever the latest version. It's 750 as a time we're making this. Click install. Now it should show up eventually. Once it's installed. I have 4.2 and 4.8, but both stay on use right now. While we're waiting for this, let's go ahead and load Firefox because I know it's going to take a while to load. So it's extracting. All right, we're good. So I'm just gonna close this. Also, by the way, shout out to Yandere Dev for sending me this wallpaper to use in the video. So we're just waiting for Firefox. Yeah, this, I don't know why Flatpak takes that long. So now we're gonna wanna search, go to Yandere Simulator's website. So let's do it. So we can download it from here. Ok, 
Okay. Let's do this. Of course, it's already filled. So it's yandarysimulator.com. Just hit enter. And now we're on good. Just close the keyboard. Hold on. Sync. Let's see. So we're going to go to download. And now go down. And you should see this link. You can just download it. But since I have issues with the download, I'm just going to use this USB drive here. So let me just plug that in real quick. All right, it's in. So we're gonna go to the USB drive. But if you download it, you can just extract it from there. The reason I have issues with the download is it seems to be my Steam Deck. I have no problem downloading it on under, under computers. So yeah, it just has a Hitman free video. But let's see here. This is the one we want, the latest zip. We're gonna go to and right click. And now we're gonna extract and extract archive two. Now I'm just gonna put it in documents. Uh, see which one it is. Where's games? Uh, all right, here we go. This one. We're gonna go down here. I think I have a Windows folder here, so let's. Yep, it's right here. This is where we wanna go. This and Windows. We're gonna click extract in the subfolder. Hold on one second. Let me type this in. All right, we're good. So I'm going to close this and just hit the extract button. And it should extract. Of. Yeah. Let me fix that real quick. Alright, so what we're going to do now is. As you saw the last time I was extracting, I didn't have enough space. So I'm going to fix that. I fixed that. Just copying right now. So we're going to go to. Um, my drive again. Right click this and just go to extract. Well, I should go to extract archive two. Now we're just gonna select the uh, documents. Well, you can extract it anywhere. For this controller, I'm just gonna use my documents. Just put it in a random game folder. Here, you go to Windows. This is what we want to extract into. Let's see. Your items good. Just click extract. Extract, and now it should be extracting. Oh. Failed to read? What do you mean, failed to read? Let me try that again. Alright, so let's hit extract. Okay, this is what we want to extract subfolder. I'm going to try a different folder then. So it's extracting. Okay, must be a must be a zipper. All right, so I'm using a different OTG adapter. Let's do this. So we go to uh, oh, that's right. Go here. So as you downloaded the latest uh, zip. Yeah, I know there's a lot of bloopers in this video. Oh well. You want to go to extract uh, extract archive two. And now we're gonna just go to um, my documents. Same place as before. Uh, here I'm extracting it to my NAND on my oh well the Steam Deck's NVMe I have the 512 unit so Windows now we're just going to extract in the subfolder this folder Windows now let me just put a name for it alright let's see what happens hope it doesn't fail again because I'm using a different adapter let's try it it's extracting of course all right, just figured it out. It turns out that the zip file itself was corrupted. It wasn't um, it wasn't the cable. So let's go to um, let's go ahead and extract it into this folder. Um, doesn't have to be. Just remember to extract it. I'm gonna put it in a folder named Yansim. So and let it extract. Now we're gonna go um, wait for it. And we're just gonna go um go to Steam for now. Oh wait, wait, let's go to um library. This is where we wanna be. So Steam should be already open, especially if you're in desktop mode because it automatically opens. So we're gonna go to uh, Steam. Go down here. Now we're just gonna go to 
Steam again. And actually no, let's see, games. And add a non-Steam game to my library. Now while that waits, or, oh, it's already done. So we're gonna go to um, browse. And we're gonna go to the home folder where I have it saved. You go into, now just remember what I say, just navigate there to, um, to, let's see, here. So I have it saved in this Yansen folder. Now we're just gonna go to applications and change it to all files. And select the EXE, again very similar to EXE. I recommend doing this instead of using the launcher because um, you can use launch arguments. So now that we have the program, we're gonna go to add selected programs. And now we're gonna look for it in the list. I'll just type uh, .exe and search for everything that's on .exe. So let's see. Let's wait for it. So we're gonna type dot exe. We should see on Dairy Simulator somewhere here. So here we go. We're just gonna now. This is what we're gonna do. Go rename the. Well, actually, go to um. Click here on the left trigger, whatever trigger you use for right clicking. Go to properties. Um, compatibility. Force use and change it to whichever. Let's see, I installed seven five. It should be here, but um, I don't see it. So I'm just gonna click GE Proton seven four eight. Don't use experimental if you don't have it. Just use this. But I'm gonna go GE Proton seven four eight. And then we're gonna go to shortcut and change it from Yandere Simulator. Exe to just Yandere Space Simulator. So let me go ahead and do that now. Actually, there's a bug right now. Um, if I try to open the keyboard in the launch properties, it doesn't do anything. So let me go ahead and log out because I'm on the beta. And see if I can change it in the Steam settings. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we're waiting for it to load. Alright, should be good. So let's see if we can go to the properties in the Steam VR. Real quick. Let me go find the game. All right, as it turns out, yeah, there is a thing you can do here. So we're gonna go to here, the settings icon. Make sure you're in, in game mode now. So here, now we're gonna change this and add some launch arguments, which I'll pause and type out and you can just copy the launch arguments. All right, that's typed out. So you want to use these launch arguments and the Steam Deck is 1280 by 800, but you want to use 720, which I'll show you why at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and launch the game real quick. So I'm going to go back to here and just click play and it should launch the, um, the first time. But I might need to create a cache or something. Let's see. It'll say downloading, but it doesn't actually download anything. It's just launching the game. Oh, it's downloading Proton probably. That's why. But it doesn't download anything related to Yandere Sim. So let's go ahead and let it launch. Launching. So you can see I use Proton up. After this, I'll show you what Boiler can do. So we're just gonna just gonna put resolution. Full doesn't matter if you put it full screen or not. I don't think it affects anything. So we're gonna go to um, graphics quality. All that good. So let's see if we can turn on the frame rate. Let's do that. Yandere Simulator is supported by the following sponsors. All right. So let's see. Well, this, this button is why isn't it doing anything? So interestingly, my controller is not working right now. So let me see if I can fix that. All right, now it should be fine. So let's try it. Yes, yeah, checking the controller now. Why wasn't it doing that the first time? That's weird. So we're gonna go to. Um, Yandere Simulator there we go. Supported by the following sponsors. I just rebooted the Steam Deck, so it's fine. So we can go to. Is it, oh, is it this one? So as you can see, it's working. So I'm gonna load into the game to show you how fast it loads. 
Okay, that's fine. Spam the buttons, and we're good. Skip the intro. Something is. So here's what happens when you're um. I want to skip this. Interesting. Hey. So we're gonna go straight in the game. And then I'll show you what you can do after this. Uh huh. So we're gonna we're gonna go straight to school in the game. See how fast it was. That's what? Okay, yeah, that's one. All right. So now we wait for it to load, and it shouldn't load too long. Let's see. Looks like it's pretty much done now. Well, it's usually done when the thing freezes. Alright, we're good. So it's working. Right now, what we're gonna do now is let's go into desktop mode real quick. So here's some tricks I can help you with. Let's go to switch to desktop. Alright. So when desktop loads, well, obviously the. When desktop loads, you're gonna wanna open um, that other program I showed you, Boiler. Let me do that real quick. All right, I just used the um, thing I downloaded, the uh, app image rather than the flat pack, which is better. So we're gonna find the Endary Simulator real quick. So let me see, it should be at the bottom somewhere. Actually, no, we go to Images and then click your Steam uh, user ID, which is obviously the one that doesn't say zero. It's gonna take a little while to load depending on how many games, non-Steam ones you have on your library. Since I use Steam ROM Manager and Emudeck, I have a lot. So let's wait for it to load up. And I'll just pause the recording when, and finish when it does. Oh well, maybe boiler I should save for another video because it crashed when I tried to load it. So let me see what happens when I load, um, when I load it with 800. I've, I've done it before, so I'm just gonna go to play and then load it with 800px instead of 720. So this is gonna be loading at Steam Deck's native resolution. And as you can see, it says there, let's go to continue. And now, um, let me go ahead and get in the game because I'm running out of recording space. All right, so as you can tell, in the game it's, um. 7 o'clock, but you can't um, obviously tell what is there say or p.m. And the HUD has issues. So yeah, if Yandere Dev could fix this, that would be a very amazing idea. Cause then we can run the game at like 16.10 instead of 16.9. So for now, have a nice day. Thanks for watching and bye.